all, Julia here, and today is day four of prayer for the day. Today is Sunday, March the 29th, and it is written by Kate Coleman. <clears throat> My housemate sometimes accuses me of selective hearing, particularly when discussing ironing, washing and cleaning duties, and I confess that I have sometimes responded to such concerns without ever really hearing them. I have later been told that I missed some vital piece of information that was passed on to me because, well, the truth is I wasn't really listening. I was busy elsewhere, both mentally and emotionally. In 1788, MP William Wilberforce, arguably the best known member of the Clapham sect, a group of evangelical Christians committed amongst other things to the abolition of the slave trade, set out to get himself heard. Every year for nearly 20 years he introduced anti-slavery motions to Parliament. Wilberforce regularly faced the disappointment of not being heard, largely because economic concerns determined what people were prepared to view as priorities. Wilberforce was, thankfully, persistent Hearing and not forgetting are like two sides of the same coin. The epistle of James compares forgetting the important things that we hear to going to a mirror and viewing our reflections only to forget what we look like as soon as we moved away from it. And here is the prayer for the day. O oh God, help us hear what your spirit is saying on a grand scale before lives are lost and energies are spent. Help us to hear the voices of those speak in the kind of sense we don't always wish to engage with. Help us to hear the voices of our loved ones, work colleagues, neighbours and friends in the course of our everyday lives. Help us to hear the silent cries for help in the midst of our busyness and grant us the grace to be Christ-like as we respond. Amen. Thank you for listening. Bye-bye.